Miller, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you for sitting down with me. Um, you are a specialist product development and partnership in the organization Humana People to People India. That's right. Could you explain a little bit what you're doing in this function? Yes, um, my job is to um, mobilize funding for uh, the work of our organization. And um, so I am in contact with funding agencies, uh, international companies, national companies, the government of India, and um, other state governments as well, um, which donate um, money for the work that we are doing. And what brings you to the ASA annual meeting? What is your message here? Well, I was invited, or our organization was invited, to uh, present a project in this, in this conference, which we have been impl implemented with support from the National International Treaty on Plant yeah. and Resources mm -hmm. for Food and Agriculture. Yeah. And um, so some of the members of the uh, ESA has um, donated yes. funds mm -hmm. to the International Treaty. And um, so it was thought appropriate or a good idea that um, two or three uh, organizations which have, uh, or entities which have implemented project should come and explain what actually the funds have been used, in which way the funds have been used and, and uh, what has been the impact. I think that's very useful. Uh, I yeah. think it's a, it's a smart move to yeah. show also to the ASA members yes. you know, what, what is happening with, uh, with their contributions. Definitely. So I'm very happy to have you here. Um, your organization uh, tries to help people by um, transferring knowledge and skills and also capacity, capacity building to those um, who need uh, assistance, especially those who, who want to emerge from, from poverty. Yes. Um, can you explain how the seed sector, seed sector ties into this? Well, the seed sector is um, within, it's a sector within the uh, private sphere. It's uh, uh, companies, mm -hmm. private companies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, when we talk about development, it needs efforts from all sides. It needs efforts from private companies, mm -hmm. from the governments. Yeah from civil society. Um, so uh, when we put our efforts together, when we combine our efforts, mm. a lot more can happen. So um, so this is this is how the seed sector, not, not because it's a seed sector especially, but, but mm. because we are talking about companies, yes, and we are talking about companies that have a certain influence on food security, of course. And since we are working to improve on food security, um, of course, it's, it's a good combination. And Marie, I am aware that also um, Biodiversity International, which is one of the CGIR centers, is, uh, is playing a role in the implementation of your project. Can you expand a little bit on that? Yes. Um, we have implemented the project in partnership with Biodiversity International. Mm -hmm. Um, with Biodiversity, Biodiversity International mm -hmm. as our technical partner. Okay. So, um, so Biodiversity International has been has designed uh, our training programs for the farmers, mm -hmm. in, um, and they have also designed the varietal trials. Has um, made the selection of uh, of the seeds that we were going to. That varieties that we mm. have been using in our varietal trials mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, that's that has been uh, we have had a very good um, partnership we've had a very good collaboration in the uh, throughout the whole process of implementation we have uh, worked very closely together on um, in this work mm -hmm. um, biodiversity has been visiting in a in the field, um, we have redesigned together some of the processes mm -hmm. um, based on feedback from farmers. We have had 
meetings together in, in, in Delhi okay. Okay. Uh, between our management, mm. um, people on, 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 on both sides. So this is, I think this, this has been a very good example of how scientists and uh, civil society can work together yeah. in this kind of projects. That's great, very necessary. Very necessary. Um, you need a good you need a good design of such a project, you need a very good um, you need a good implementation, you need a good analysis mm -hmm. of the uh, of the results that we get from the field. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and this is what we have achieved through our uh, collaboration. Great, wonderful through our yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Um, if, if we zoom in a little bit on the seed sector, where do you see uh, possibilities for the seed sector, how they can work together with uh, civil society organizations such as yours um, towards improving food security? Yeah, okay, for that, um, to respond to that, I, I'd like to tell just a few sure. things about our project. Please. So what we have done, so we have worked with uh, small and marginal farmers, 2,500 small and marginal farmers, in, Uta, in the state of Uttar Pradesh, mm -hmm. um, which is located in the uh, in the Ganges ba uh, River Basin, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where a lot uh, or most of India's rice and wheat is being produced. Mm -hmm. And um, so this is an important an important geographical area. Yeah. At the same time, for food for food production. At the same time. Um, we are talking about an area where mo eight, more than 80% of the farmers are small, belong to the category of small and marginal farmers. Mm -hmm. So the, a, 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 a large part of the food production in the country has to be secured by small and marginal farmers. Mm. I understand. Yeah. So in order to improve food security, in, in order to improve improve uh, food production, we need to build capacity in small and marginal farmers mm -hmm. in different ways. Yeah. Um, so what we have done, we have added um, many more varieties of rice and wheat to mm -hmm. the pool of uh, genetic material yeah. existing in, in, in that uh, region. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and we have involved the farmers in varietal trials where the farmers themselves have been walking around in their fields with a note, yeah. uh, a notepad, mm -hmm. noting down what is the what is now the the, the growth of this particular variety, mm -hmm. and then compared with the next and the third and the fourth yeah. varieties yeah. that yeah. they have they have grown, and so we have worked with scientists to um, to train the farmers mm -hmm. and to also evaluate the varieties and trials. And that's been very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's been very interesting for the farmers. They have learned a lot from it. We have learned a lot from it. Uh, it has it has been a, a great success working farmers uh, together with scientists mm -hmm. and civil society. Yeah. This this uh, this this group of people or this combination of mm -hmm. um, this way of um, combining resources, combining knowledge, um, that's been a great experience mm -hmm. and um, for the farmers whom we have also trained to apply uh, improved cultivation techniques, uh, combining improved cultivation mm -hmm. practices yeah. together with having access to having better seed material, that has meant for a lot of farmers uh, that they could uh, add to their production, they could improve their production mm -hmm. by 30 up to 50 percent. Yeah. Amazing. And this is an amazing result. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, so that was a little bit about the background mm -hmm. or what, what we have done in this project. And um, what was your question? How the seed sector can help in yeah. uh, cooperating, working with yeah. civil society in improving food security. Right. Now, we have worked with a grant from the uh, International Treaty yes. on Plant mm -hmm. and Resources. Um, as I said before, it is very 
it is very it's very much needed mm-hmm. and in a, in a country like India which needs such a, a huge input mm-hmm. in the development uh, that uh, private sector takes part in it mm-hmm. um, in this project we have been a partner with an international with the international treaty it's just a very small project and you can say a drop in the ocean of what is needed. So if we could, um, if we and other organization could combine our efforts with, together with um, the private sector and maybe the seed sector uh, in um, replicating this kind of projects, we could reach many more thousands of farmers. And um, I can see that there is a potential if a company has a special product mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that the company would like to introduce or like to try sure. in the real in, in, in the real setting, mm-hmm. we could bridge uh, we could bridge the, the gap between the company and the end producer yeah, yeah. or the end sure. uh, beneficiary of yeah. that product by trying it out in a project mode, um, which would be interesting for the company as well as the farmers as well as for us. Yeah. I see that. Mm-hmm. It, it, uh, it, it could be a way that we, we could work together. Mm-hmm. Or in case of uh, in India, yep. the mm-hmm. private sector uh, must use um, 2% of their surplus for developing okay. um, purposes or mm-hmm. for, for, for charity or for in development projects. And this is a way that um, seed companies could uh, actually spend their 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 surplus yeah. in something that would okay. benefit the farmer as well as be a s- taking a step mm-hmm. of their own. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, uh, I think that's a wonderful message. Mm-hmm. I hope a lot of mm-hmm. seed companies take mm-hmm. good notice of your uh, of your message. Um, I wish to thank you for the interview and I wish you good luck with all your work. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.